with an apology, right? I'm going to apologise to everyone. Everyone who I may have offended, or I, I may have upset in the past, especially in the 70s. <laughs> Japan's just a crazy country, though. I mean, um, konnichiwa is hello, um, arigato is thank you, and bukaki... No. Although I did used to know someone who had uh, unusually long nipples... No. He had to cancel his uh, his, uh, his trip to India, so um, he thought, mm-hmm. you know, I'll know where to go instead. He'll go to Wolverhampton. No. There was like a medical problem with me for, for ages, so I asked my doctor, and he said to me, um, well, uh, well, Ellie, um, you can touch yourself whenever you feel like it. Uh, next week in hospital, turns out what he actually said was, um, I could have a stroke at any time. I'm an insomniac, and everyone's muscling in, and because I thought it made me unusual, and now everyone, because of lockdown, they, no one's got a sleep pattern anymore. And sleep pattern is another thing that bothers me. Everyone's got these neat things and patterns. If I had a sleep pattern, it'd look like a fucking Jackson Pollock. I should get you on every week, really. No. Does this, it does, hi, so sorry. I was meant to be standing here, saw your face and then whoosh. But for some reason, we're going into darkness. Thank you so much for joining us again, live in the Hen House. This is Hen Nights live stream 2021. We have got some fantastic guests for you uh, in the future. Tonight, we've got some good ones as well, which is great. Now, I have to talk until at least another 55 people start to watch. And I won't stop uh, until you've had enough. I heard something interesting today. I did. I heard something very interesting today. I heard, yes, uh, because we are now part of the EU uh, and now we're not, uh, we have to start renegotiating 40 years of deals we had previously made when we were part of the EU. Uh, That's with other countries, obviously. The good job in all of this is uh, we are better off without the EU (laughs) because that's why we voted for the current incumbent of number 10. I love the word incumbent. What could possibly go wrong? Fish! Specifically, Norwegian cod. Have you heard about this? The government have made a big song and dance about doing a deal with Norway last year. The deal was, right, now only under Johnson could this happen, that we could negotiate every year the fishing rights between the UK and Norway. That was a big song and dance. But guess what? We tried to negotiate a deal, but we couldn't do it. I know! When our past champions were Davis and Rehab, I mean, they did such a good job. And the reason we could not do a deal, and it it is quite so simple, because we are great and everybody else should do what we want. The only problem with that negotiation is uh, when other countries turn around and say, 
Nah, you're all right. You know what? We're good. <laughs> we expected another country to do what we wanted and did not offer them anything they wanted. So we've fucked the UK fishing folk again. We've grounded the £52 million Kerkella. Have you seen that ship? It's beautiful. It's basically a, fo a floating fish factory. It's got, it freezes the fish straight away. Uh, but it catches about 10% of our cod as well. But the government has just put it to sleep for the rest of the year. Only in this country. Our fish and chips are going to cost so much more. And I love fish and chips. I love fish and chips. I went to my fish and chip shop last night. I said, have you got any fish and chips left? They said, yes. I said, so you right for making so many. <laughs> and now I said, can I have fish and chips twice? They said, we heard you the first time. They said, I heard you the first time. They say you always remember your first time. The smell, that moist, damp, spongy feel. I can still taste it. And it looks lovely, considering as well my neighbour does his by hand. I was just waiting for the weather to change so I could get the lawnmower out. It's, it's the first time this year that I've been able to cut the grass. My neighbour hasn't cut his grass for over a year. I, I mean, he is a key worker, so it's understandable, yeah? He's a key worker, works in Timpsons up the town. It was nice to cut the grass. It's like things are slowly getting back to normal and that's great. I've arranged Sunday lunch for the wife. I've put the potatoes next to the cauliflower and took the meat out. But we're not back together. We're still on a break. Uh, but I'm quite stoic. And we are actually meeting up for a Sunday lunch in a pub in Powick. I'm a Powick and I don't know it. It's all outside and obviously I just hope it doesn't rain again because last time we were out eating soup in the rain it took us an hour and a half to finish it. Oh, I know! Going over now to see Av Singh for our latest travel and weather news. Av, uh, what's it like out on the road tonight? Windy. <laughs> Av's with us tonight. Uh, we've also got... Oh, Pussycat's here. Oh, you look lovely. Cat... Oh. Oh. Yeah, no, but no one can see. No one can see. No one can see our guests, which is great. Uh, and no one's watching the show at the moment, so that's a bit disappointing. So I'm going to ask everybody to share... Uh, oh, there's no point me telling people to share the stream if no one's watching it. I could say what I like now. That'd be cool. If, um, yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I, I suppose I could do something that I wanted to do before, really. We've got a special guest next week. That's Wade. Wade's from America. He's been trying every week to get involved in the show, but he's had bad Wi-Fi connection and stuff like that. So uh, a bit bit disappointing. Uh, but he did send me a video, so uh, this is a little clip from it. I suppose everyone's gone up to Liverpool tonight. Is that probably what it is? Uh, right, I'll tell you what, what's the time now? It's uh, it's nearly, it's nearly, it's nearly 8.30. Hello, whoever you are, please share this stream now. Tell people we need you to, because uh, bless you for watching here. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, at least they've liked it as well. But please don't go, otherwise I will sing. Right, our first comedian tonight is a youngster uh, he actually just told me where he's from. I'm just going to have to say London because I've forgotten that he said he was in Eaton Mess or somewhere like that. It's Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right. Where are you from again? I uh, grew up in Leeds. I live in Stoke Newington, North London now. Stoke Newington. So much like Eaton, that is. Oh, um, yeah, it is now, yeah. <laughs> Leeds. Are you a Leeds fan? I was till I left there, yeah. I follow oh, Leighton okay. Orient now in League Two. 
Okay, that's that's all right. I, I follow Birmingham City soon to be in League Two, so that's not <laughs> that's that's not too bad, is it? Oh, I for, I, for, I forgot me overlay. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Now, when I spoke to you the other day, you told me that you used to work for a newspaper. Is that right? I worked on the football on the Sunday People on a Saturday night for about fifteen years, editing the match reports, giving it a pun headline. Uh, what was your favourite? Mm. You favourite? Uh, Queen's Park Rangers losing 4-0 at home. Manager Stuart Houston. Headline, Houston, comma, we've got a problem. Oh, <laughs> no, that's good. That is good. Do you get extra money if they're... F- <laughs> I was going to say if they're funny. But like the funny they are, or is it just like you just get a, a no. wage? No, no, no. The, the, the money was good, but uh, didn't matter how good or bad the puns were. <laughs> ah, That'd be, I like that one. I'll give, hey, shall I give you? I'll give you. <laughs> I went to see. No, I didn't go to see. My mate cried off. Birmingham were playing Liverpool. I think it was in a. It must be in a cup match because I don't think we were in the Premiership for a bit, and they beat us seven nil. Yeah, there's a headline you could write, isn't it? Really. Um, I, I, I guess so. Yeah, seven up <laughs> or seven down or. <laughs> Uh, Rum, Brummel. Cop that. How about that? (laughs) Yeah, no, cop that. (laughs) Liverpool. Hey, Mark, So thanks so much for for doing this. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, Five years. No. Mm. That's four years more than me. Uh, Five years. Started when I was 60. I'm now 65. Oh, wow. See, I didn't want to go into the age. No, it's fine. Because, like... (laughs) Because I've still I'm got young. some lead in my pencil. Hey, there we go. Yeah, is it, but the hey, problem is I can't find a rubber. Yeah, don't, don't. <laughs> There's to be or not to be. That's the question. <laughs> is that is that too subtle? Is that, no, is that that's probably, good, actually. Yeah. It, 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 oh, if if people don't know what graphite is, then we're in trouble. <laughs> Because it's a graphite pencil. They used to be two. Do people do people write anymore? Like it's quite actual... sharp that one. I have to say, you know. It's... Hey, oh, don't, so... don't... <laughs> <laughs> my my favourite pencil joke is is Doctor Doctor. Why are you writing uh, with that anal thermometer? Some bums got my pencil. That's 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 my favourite one. But yeah, I well, I don't know now because we've all got phones that we can type in and stuff. So I don't know if people mm. actually do. The writing. Yeah. You know, Beethoven had a uh, a mobile phone, but it broke because um, Symphony. Mm. Oh, mm. that's very punny, that is. It is really, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. It yeah. is. <laughs> I know. It's not funny, it's punny. Yeah. It's punny. It's a classic. Cool. One. It, so, absolutely. There, there, there you go. <laughs> ah. I, I, <laughs> I would get. I remember so many people's old jokes, like from the seventies, and and I think there was one about Beethoven. They dug him up, and he was just crossing out pieces of music, and they say, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I'm just decomposing." <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. to bury that one. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey these, I'm gonna, <laughs> do you know what? We, we're going to peak too soon. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? I'm so excited. Um, I, I, so I haven't heard those words for a long time, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Away you go, mate. <laughs> You're watching the wrong sort of uh, streaming channels. Right, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, first time in the head house. I'm really excited. It's welcome, Mark Rivlin. Hey, Rivlin, yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, hi. So pleased to be here. I bought you a present. That's from me. Do you like it? I'm not a big fan. Okay, we move on. Um, So uh, they say you are what you eat, uh, but I'm no pussy. Um, We called our first child Justin. It reminds us of how he was conceived. And um, I know what, I had to go to the doctors last week because I'm completely addicted to polos, uh, mints. And the doctor told me I've got a menthol health problem. Um, but you know, it's uh, all right. Cause it's what? 2033. So, uh, it's after eight. I can tell it. So, um, the other day, uh, my wife said to me, why don't you grow a beard? I said, well, we don't have to do everything together. Um, well, 
didn't go down well. Um, I like to, you know, I'm I'm heterosexual, but uh, I'm open to other forms as well. And I like picking up uh, blokes on building sites. And maybe that's why they call me a jack off all trades. Um, in fact, the other day I went up to the foreman and I said, would you like a hand job? He said, not on my watch. Um, I got I got an oral infection eating the wife's vegetables. Uh, that was herpes. So I'll give you a bit of advice now. Um, never go on a, a motorway journey with a gynecologist because all they want to do is stop at the cervixes. Um, I don't know whether you've heard this, but the director of Pulp Fiction, uh, he can't go camping. Tent in Quarantino, apparently. Uh, I did really badly in the world crossword solving uh, tournament, but I'm not too down. Boom, boom. I won St. John's Ambulance Stretcher Bearer of the Year Award. Nice to win it, but I'm not getting carried away. And I've got this book uh, that I've written a novel about uh, traffic wardens. Couldn't finish it. I got writer's clamp. You know what? Um, I don't understand this. For some reason, French classical musicians can travel anywhere in the UK on public transport free of charge. They've all got Debussy pass. OK, so um, I've got a friend of mine who went to live in Wiltshire. I was a bit upset, but I just left him to his own devices because apparently uh, devices is in Wiltshire. Um, I uh, ordered a copy of the Kama Sutra uh, six weeks ago from Amazon. Still not arrived. I'm considering my position. Yeah. Uh, I got into a big row the other week with uh, one of my fellow workers at the aircraft repair center. So they sent me on a hangar management course. I've got a part time job in a bowling alley. Uh, I'm temping. So um, I've got this roofer fixing uh, our roof and uh, I don't like the look of him. You know what? Uh, to me, he looks just like uh, he's got wrecked tile dysfunction. I was raised by uh, an Australian alcoholic family. Uh, yeah, I was fostered. Uh, last week, I did a gig in a care home. Uh, I think they enjoyed it because they were all pissing themselves. Anyway, we've got uh, a French electrician. He's called Serge. Yeah. We've got a Romanian travel agent. Very good if you want to book a rest. And we got a Swedish courier. He's pretty good, but if you're not in when he comes around, he just takes the stock home. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to be open because you seem like a nice audience. Just because I like wearing boys' swimming trunks does not mean I'm a speedophile. Probably. Um, now, last week, oh, again, I'm going to kind of open up. Last week, I was really depressed. Uh, and I was in a really bad place, Croydon. Uh, yeah. Um, so um, apparently, um, well, not apparently, I know why the cast of Star Trek left the set. Yeah. Well, William Shatner. Uh, I've got a really good gag. My favourite one. It's about mid midwives, midwives. Oh, God, I've got to work on the delivery. Cars that fail their MOT. Don't get me started. The guys that built the set for Psycho. What a shower. Last time I got drunk was in Germany. I woke up with a hangover. Really? Suicide bombers. What makes them tick? I'm a self-made pasta chef. Did you know that? Yeah, I was taught alone. I've got this really good gag that I tried out. It's a gag about uh, Greek restaurants. Tried it in a gig last week. Smashed it. Went out clubbing last week as well, let me tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you what, those seals put up a good fight. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going to leave you not with a final pun. I'm going to leave you with a lesson in economics. Okay? So... Uh, me and the wife, we bought a house in North London, Stoke Newington, in 1997 for 135,000 English pounds. 
It's now worth 1.3 million. It's all paid for. So fuck you, hipsters. Good night. I'm Mark Rivlin, Mr. Pun Man. <laughs> Mr. Pun Man. Oh, my, my daughter's just bought a house. Well, hopefully, subject to contract. Not even a joke, mate. Not even a joke. Oh, okay, okay. But, but like, I just understand that, you know, the fact that if you get it in early, then it, it does. But London's mad, though, price. It's mental. Yeah. <laughs> menthol. Menthol. It's, um, me it's, it's menthol. Actually, I was in an estate agent's last week, and he told me to F off. I said, you've got to let. <laughs> I like your stock home. <laughs> Do you? Okay. <laughs> no, the joke. It was good. It was good. Hey, are you going to stay around for the caption competition? Well, of course, I'm going to stay around for the caption comp. I've been waiting all night for it. So have I. So have I. <laughs> I've been waiting all night for my burger and chips, but I don't know. Uh, I was hoping they'd deliver, but it's just going to be burger. Thank you so much, <laughs> uh, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later, Mark Rivlin, Everybody, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Mark. Ah, uh, oh, that's you. That's me. Right. I don't know if he's. I don't know if he's still part of the stream now. Uh, that's interesting. If I do that, that should make it possible i don't know hey thanks everybody for watching that's really good if you could share this it'll be excellent do you know who we're going to go and see we are going to go and see if i've got this right at 8 42 man this is the first did you see that then my logitech camera hasn't been uh, i've got the autofocus on which is going to be shh i probably might be but i might look better if i'm if i'm fuzzy around the edges uh, I can't think of a joke for that, but it's a good punchline, fuzzy around the edges. If anyone can think of a joke which finishes with fuzzy around the edges, I'm, I'm having it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is her third time in the hen house. Whoa! <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Pussycat Bangkok. Hello, Pussycat. Hello, Steve. How are you? I'm, uh, I've put you into full screen because that costume is magnificent. <laughs> it's love i love your headdress thank you so much yes it's only about 20 kilogram wow i don't <laughs> even know what that is in pound 20 kilo that's 40 pounds no way <laughs> it is heavy actually oh god bless you How, how's your <laughs> life i haven't spoken to you for ages how's everything going fantastic i can't wait for life to get back to normal. We allow him to go to the pub garden. However, the God made us a curfew. About eight o'clock is all getting cold. So we are running home for the gig. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cold. But, but that's where's it. Steve? I left one of my gloves in hen house back passage. You've left one of your gloves in my back passage. <laughs> I need to go back and get it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. The, the doctor told me to put something in my back passage. I, I, I said I, I said we hadn't got a back passage, so I put it in the hall. For all the good it would have done, I should have shoved it up me. Anyway, it's lovely <laughs> to see you, uh, pussycat. Uh, <laughs> And you, I love the way that you've dressed up so especially. You should be able to go out soon and do, do gigs, won't you? Yes, I have the 17 when we allow to open. I have that book straight away at Hammersmith Comedy. Oh, lovely. Right? And also on 22nd of May, the first Saturday that we allow to open, I am at Clock Pit Theatre, Marylebone. Marley Bone, way. Yes, London. I'm excited. Oh, everybody, go, if, if anyone's watching from London, which I hope you are watching from London, then go and see Pussycat Live. I'm hoping to get Pussycat up to the hen house in Redditch when we go live. It should be can't lovely. Wait. That's it. I'm, I hope to get as many of the people that I've met through this beautiful live stream system up into the real gigs because we are we're desperate to get out and, and give people hope and laughter. Yeah, I miss it. Nothing yeah. the same as live comedy. The connection, the energy of the laugh is so great. 
It is. It's brilliant. I just want to say something to you, Kat, because I'm following you on Facebook. Um, you do a lot of charity for the homeless and that. Yes, at the moment, because not in central London, there are no tourists and a lot of people are of working course. from home. So the amount of people are passing by is not as much as it used to be a busy London. But for homeless people who have mental health, who are struggling, who are some of them, I must be honest, they have mental health or they're on drugs. That's why they're on the street. Yeah. They still need help. So I try to go every week to help them. Oh. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a great thing. And I, I forgot that because if there's no tourists and people aren't leaving their houses, then of course there's going to be uh, an economic void, as it were. Oh. Yes. You're doing a grand thing. Oh, thank you. Especially in the winter, it's freezing cold outside. So give them some warm gloves, warm hat, warm cloth, or some food that they can eat whenever they want. That yes. would be a great thing. Give them some energy. Lovely. Give them some energy. Yes, some energy. Naughty. Yes. Earthy. And, most, and mostly I must thank all my friends as well who supporting me, who come with me because I can't do this on my own. One no. is not going to help all the homeless. Where I look up, where I go and help them, it's about 100 of them, 150, 70, 80, depend which day. So a group of my friends came together. So thanks all my friends for the love and support and do this together with me. I give them a clap as well. Yes! Well done, Cat's friends. Hey, Pussycat, I'm so excited. Are you going to be clean or are you going to be rude tonight? Always super, super clean. <laughs> I hope you find your glove, my darling. Okay, here we are, back in the hen house. Third time, it's the wonderful Pussycat Boot Bangkok. Swadika, hello everyone. Um, Pussycat Bangkok. Easy name to remember because if I tell you my real Thai name. We will be here until Christmas. So let's stick it to Pussycat Bangkok. Are you remember this? Are you all remember this? In my name, have bought Pussy and Cock with the bang in the middle. <laughs> Being a Thai woman living in London, it's so difficult because most people try to guess what we are doing for a living. For example, when I am doing online comedy, I have to keep reminded an audience that it is okay to see a Thai woman on the screen with clothes on. <laughs> and I have to keep reminding them we are still doing a comedy, not stripty. You haven't switched to Pornhub. You are not on web station. And when the comedy is finished, please don't do like Steve do. First time I met him, he messaged me and asked, do I have an only fan account? I find it so offended because he asked me for a discount code. <laughs> Another time, being a live comedian on the stage. When I am on the stage, I keep reminding people I am not there to do a pole dancing or a ping pong show. I am there to do a stand up comedy. Even one time, a guy 
I call Chris. He came to see me, and he tried to tip me. I find it so offended. I am a comedian. You know what he did? He put twenty pound note up my nickel. Cat, do, do you get a free ping pong ball for every time a student books you? <laughs> <laughs> you have to book me to fly out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll bring my own bat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your children party? <laughs> it's after seven o'clock. I can swear a little bit now and, and be a little bit cheeky. Which is good. Thank you so much. Are you staying around for the caption competition? What time? What time is the caption competition? It's about uh, 15 minutes away. Okay, cool. I'm staying around. Excellent. Pussycat Bangkok, we'll see you later. Thank you. Wow. She's a very cheeky lady. Very cheeky lady. What's this doing here? Right, I've moved my because I, I was I was told off uh, two weeks ago that I was I was popping. I think that's one of the reasons why we're on a trial separation. Uh, let's put it there. That, I don't know if you can't hear me, then you will tell me, won't you? But if you, I don't know if you can or you can't. At the end of the day, we're another day older. So, wow, what time is it, people? It's not time for Av Singh's news round. It certainly is. Are you excited? I am excited because I haven't actually spoke to Av. I only spoke to him on Monday, so I hope he's all right. I do know, though, that he went to a big shop today. Morrison's? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look. Av! Hello, Hello mate. You all right? How are you doing? Can you hear me all right? <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I just feel a bit underdressed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she scared. looks lovely. Yeah, I, I can see her now. She's eating a bag of peanuts and having a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, she's lucky yeah, she's cool well so where have you been today Av? i actually uh thinking i took the day off i thought it'd be nice and romantic take the missus out i thought i know where to take her ikea no yep ikea well, that's 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 bonkers I, I i took my wife to ikea but that was in the karma sutra
Right. Uh, and also, uh, just I had a romantic lunch with her as well. <laughs> but, uh, meatballs? No, no, uh, Burger King. Bit, bit, bit more. <laughs> yeah, bit, a bit, a bit, a bit more at market. A bit, yeah, a bit more. A bit, a bit more. Uh, Do you uh, know, IKEA is a bit like Hampton Maze, though, isn't it? It's like you get lost in there. I've, I've been there. I, yeah, I suppose. They just keep changing it around, don't they? But um, I don't, I, it's I crazy. Don't know. I haven't I'm, been for over a year. I couldn't believe it. Like, we got in there a bit early, a little bit of queuing, not too bad. By the time we walked out, the queue was massive. No. It's like, fr- it's like a Friday. It's a Friday out of lock. Are we out of lockdown? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I could remind you of the dates, but I'm getting a bit sick of those dates as well because it's got your mate on it as well. Boris, he came to Wolverhampton last week. Did he? Yeah, yeah. I was saying, Did my we house, <laughs> we talk about houses. My, I bought my house for £150,000, right? After Boris came, it's worth fifty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, more. Mind you, she got, got his, his girlfriend to uh, uh, do the interior designing. Oh, that, 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 yeah, that's the next bit we're going to come talk to her. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know what he's trying to say. Yeah, I know. I got. <laughs> I got the email. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Blah, blah, blah. What? What? The that whole thing... the whole bloody world is crazy yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Everyone keeps talking about the fifty-seven k, fifty-seven k, right? But actually, it was eighty-seven k. Because he gets he gets thirty k to do it. Yeah, to from do the it. taxpayer, and then he added another fifty-seven k on top of that, right? But I've I've heard he's added more. He's, but I read the Daily Express. Oh, so, uh, yeah, yeah don't, don't read that. But do, do, you know, do you know the designer's name? Yes. What is it? Lulu Boo Lulu Boo. It's Lulu Light. Lulu Boo Lulu Boo. Lulu Light. Well! <laughs> <laughs> it made everyone shout, didn't it? I tell you, <laughs> what the bloody price. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't believe like like all the shit that man has done in the last year, and then moaning about a bloody a chaise long and a and a, and a poster. Do you know, from Athena? Do, do you know? I I, I don't ever, actually, I'm I'm kind of two minds. I think he's getting a bit of a hard time, you know, because I, I I reckon he could have he could have got DIY SOS in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what, what's his name? Lawrence Luen Bowen. I reckon he could have done a cracking job for like a quarter of the price. LLB, that's it. Yeah. You, I've got some pictures. Do you want me to show some pictures? Go ahead. Right, this is what it, it supposedly looks like. There's there's that one. Uh, this is from the same designer. Lo, 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 lo. Uh, this is the one that um, a lot of the press have been showing. Uh, what do you think of it? Oh, this. my Look how clever I am. God. <laughs> it, looks, it, looks, it looks like my uh, auntie's house in the 70s. <laughs> it does. It's got that seventies flock wallpaper look, hasn't it? Man, I did very well there. Do, do you know how much the wallpaper cost? No, hundred pound per meter. A roll per not meter, roll. not even a roll. Not a roll, a per meter. meter. Yeah, flipping heck. My 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 my, uh, my 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 sister came over from New Zealand last year, and uh, I had to pick her up the at the airport. In fact, I was sent to meet her. Okay. Thanks. Hey, okay. right. But <laughs> do you think, though, that is the worst designed uh, number 10 flat? Yeah, what's wrong with John Lewis? I, actually, I, everyone's blaming his missus, aren't they? Yes. I think she's got a name. I, I can't remember her name. <laughs> I can't remember her name. His missus, his, missus. his wife. His, his, he's got yeah. so many missuses, don't you worry about it. That fucking yeah. phone number is was, was blazing hot for 15 years. Well, I reckon, because it's quite deal, deal with this. the reason I said it, because he looks like a charity case, doesn't he? <laughs> he does Sorry. look like a charity case. Right. And I reckon, uh-huh. you know, he's, obviously his missus has uh, took advantage of him, I think. Well, well yeah. I reckon, yeah. Because he's reckon never she's... taken advantage of anyone, yeah. so I assume. Come on, he's, he's how old is he? He's at 55, she's 30. He's, I was going to say probably... tip for tap, but I know yeah. what I meant. He's probably going senile, yeah. She's got these hands on his wallet. 
Like, we're, no, we're looks so good. I, I guarantee, since he's had the baby, all I ever hear is... <laughs> Can't get a word out, can he? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. And yeah, she leads him. All right, darling, I'll show you. But, but, but do you know what it looked like before that? Before that, it looked like. Um, uh, can you hear that going off? That's uh, that's. Do you know where that is? Don't you? Well, did Did Teresa make him with the couch? I have no idea. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got rid of her pretty quick, didn't he? <laughs> That's right. That was so. That that was Theresa May sort of uh, chaise lounge. Uh, That's John Lewis. Before, yeah. yeah. Got another one. Who are those two lovely people? Oh God. That's it. Yeah. Just when you thought it was safe to get back out of the water. Uh, and then before before that one, we had a bit of a a, a bit of a well, look how cool that man is. Yeah. That that. Uh, he, have you t- do you see him this week with his long hair? Oh, I'm glad you asked that because I got a picture especially for you. You can oh describe that. God, I think I heard someone say he's he's like um, I was going to say Peter Sellers, not Peter Sellers, Peter Stringfellow. Someone, I heard someone yes, say no, that. He, Pete, that yeah. was me. I oh, said like yeah, Peter that's, yeah, that's, but that's fine. Bang I'm, on. Still, I'm still funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit bit of a worry. Uh, and then, of course, we have the 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 the, the lady that we all love, the oh, lady that God. lunches. Satan. Let's go. Look at Satan. <laughs> <laughs> that that was very, 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 very good. Well, look at that. We we've, we've run through those quite well, didn't we? Uh, I need to press something else to get back to there. But that's it. It's an expensive flat in London. Thirty grand, thirty grand a year. They're allowed to to spend on it. Uh, thirty thirty grand of taxpayers' money flushed yeah, down the but, toilet. Yeah, but that's, look, you can. You, yeah, yeah. Track and trace, thirty-three billion, mate. Don't worry about it. But he, he, maybe he deserves a treat, Steve. After all that hard work he's done, <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does deserve yeah. a little treat. The little, the little. He's a, he's a lovely man. Hey, Av, we've got to go because I'm running late. But we'll see you in a minute for the caption competition. No problem. Unless there's anything else you want to say. Uh, no. Oh. All right, Ab <laughs> Singh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have one more news report and then I can sort myself out. Where are you? Let's be having you! Going over now to see Av Singh with some breaking news. Av! I'm Commando. I, I add sound effects because I can. Uh, Absing, wonderful Absing. Had a lovely time in Ikea. I don't know if you heard the phone ringing uh, during that. That was my mother ringing me. She knows I'm doing the show. Right, um, but I will have to ring her back. Who are we going to see? Not another friend of the hen house. No. Another. Th- this would be the third time, I think, Bex, wouldn't it? We have a... Beck, I want to call her Rebecca Turner because I have everything down as Rebecca Turner. And then she's got Bex Turner, and I don't know, so we'll find out now. The definitive title of Rebecca Turner. Ladies and gentlemen, back in the hen house, it's Bex Turner. Hello. Hello. You all right? Yeah. How are you? I'm all right, thank you very much. My mum's just rang me, and I I should really return her calls, but. Yeah, that's disgraceful. It is, but she knows. <laughs> she knows I'm working between twenty eight twenty one and, and nine thirty. <laughs> so, do I? Is, is it Bex or, or Rebecca? What um, would you prefer in this situation? Oh, I, I don't mind. Um, maybe Cyril. Maybe, yeah, Cyril. <laughs> yeah, we all gave ourselves um, boy names at secondary school, and so mine was Brian. So you could call okay. me Brian. Brian's, I like, I've got a friend called Brian, but I wonder now, because I'm getting old, if Brian would become, if, if, if you, like, <laughs> my, my grand was called Elsie and that came back and that's quite nice, but I'm not sure if you'd give a child the name Brian anymore. Mm. But I like mm. the name Brian. So there you go, Bex. Oh, you. So uh, uh, how's, how's your lockdown going? Um, yeah, it's, all, it's okay. Um. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely been a bit lonely, but it's nice to see mm. people again. 
I know this is this is what I'm, I'm going to miss the actual the chat even though I'm chatting mm. like through video mm. and it'd be nice to actually say goodbye to someone and do this. Oh, yeah. Because you you can't do it in a in a in a. No, I know it feels it's very, it feels very conceptually arty. Yeah, so you can't touch. Uh, you can touch the void. Hmm. Do you want? I do you reckon in 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 like in in a oh, I don't know forty years time we'll be like able to hug people virtually. Maybe, yeah, maybe. And I don't know if you, you need to get the sensation as well. It's all <laughs> well and good just just standing there and pretending, but I have no idea. Isn't that weird? Like, like they made in Japan or somewhere where they like have these like electronic mouths that you could plug into your computer. Then either end, if you like, kiss that mouth, like in one location, and the vibrations would transfer like digitally. So that might be something. That's it. But you can do it with your Apple Watch. Apparently, you can sync it to somebody else's heartbeat, Aww. which is which is nice. I did it to my granddad's, but I thought it was me. It was very very, very <laughs> worrying. But <laughs> I struggle with that, I didn't I? No, but you can, which would be nice if you if somebody you love and you could hear that, and then you can tap the watch and send them a little a little mm -hmm. tap. But Aww. I've never found anybody that I cared about that also liked Apple as well. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. That's quite depressing, there, isn't it? I've just no. we, we're doing a comedy <laughs> show, and I've just gone that I've no one's ever loved me enough to buy themselves an Apple Watch. Oh no! I know. <laughs> Bex, are you ready to go? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. I love your stuff, and I'm glad you're back oh, in thank the Thank you. That's very kind. No, it's true though. <laughs> So, back in the hen house, third time. It is the wonderful Brian Turner. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me. We're back. At, how you doing? You're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. I don't have love handles. I have shag rails. <sighs> now. Uh, I have PCOS, which basically means my fanny don't flow right. It's gross, I know, but it is true. It's also called polycystic ovary syndrome, or as I like to call it, Picasso's rose period. I mean, now, I have, one of the main issues of that is uh, is extra hair growth. However, I also have flat feet which earned me the nickname at school of Caveman. So rude. <laughs> it was usually, go away, Rebecca, you don't have any friends. And <laughs> this, let me think about what emo dinosaurs would be like. <laughs> I feel most sorry for the T-Rex because his, he can't reach his huge emo fringe to wipe it out the way of his eyes, like, oh. And I also have dyspraxia, which basically means my, my balance and my depth perception is really poor, which is really irritating when I was younger, as it meant that I couldn't ride bicycles or scooters or people. I'm conflicted with body positivity. Um, I'm all for these girls being proud of their curves and growing out their body hair, but all I have is the memory of a boy in year seven at secondary slash high school shouting out to me, Hey, mate, you've got bigger side bangs than my side. Thanks. Do I have toxic masculinity like your dad? Are your dad's sideburns this small? Or this small? Now, uh, now, I read somewhere that if you peel wrappers off of bottles, you're sexually frustrated. I'm so socially frustrated that I peel the toilet roll off its tube. And I know I'm not great to get to know intimately, but I hate twatty phrases like, Oh, she's so emotionally unbalanced. We are obese. <laughs> and I'm always scared that I'll say the wrong thing in social situations. Uh, for example, when a creepy, greasy old man continuously buys you Diet Cokes in a communal cafe and then on the way out says, <laughs> Treat yourself, <laughs> and I tell them to 
<laughs> I don't have a sugar daddy. I have an artificial sweetener daddy. <laughs> and <laughs> and I'm, I'm not very good at understanding social boundaries at all. <laughs> like, what toddler hasn't accidentally locked their mum out on the balcony? And then they laughed, and then I laugh at her whilst eating yogurt out the fridge with my fingers. <laughs> I heard that. Um, I, he I heard that having good observational skills is, is really good. If that's true, how come I get in trouble for noticing really highly detailed dirt on the pavement? Anyway, before I go, um, a one, one, one proud point: I've never been in the friend zone. <laughs> Then again, I haven't been in Laser Quest either. Thank you. I've been Rebecca slash Brian slash Bex Turner. If you want to see more of my hijinks, then please follow me on my Instagram called at Bex Turner Comedy. And you back to the lovely Steve Hen. At Bex Turner, at Brian Turner, we're sure. Yay. We should be. That was lovely. Thank you very much, Bex. Yay. I enjoyed that. That's good. So, do you think you'll be able to do some live comedy soon? Um, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I, I think so. Um, I know, I know. In um, I have got some stuff coming up, and then in early May, I might be doing a lovely live show outside oh. somewhere, which will be fun. Oh, that that be so. But much there's some stuff so... coming up. Yeah. How How about you? I don't know because I don't want to. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything, and I, I can't go into the theatre until they do full shows anyway. They have a, a 400-seater auditorium, and they can only open up the studio theatre if there's a show in there. So okay. I, I, if it's going to happen, it won't happen until September, but let's hope and pray. Sorry, that's not fun. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bex. We're going to do the caption competition, but I'll bring you back into that because we're going to go and see Carl first. So. Uh, okay. All right, thank you, Bex Turner. And we're going to go into the uh, uh, caption competition now. Is everybody's ready? Excited about the caption competition? You can actually help yourself to the caption competition on the Hen Knights Fen. You can actually help yourself to the uh, uh, caption competition on the Hen Knights Facebook page. See, I could do that, and I can edit that out, and no one ever notice. So we're going to go and see Carl in in Boston. Hi, Carl. Hey, Steve. How's it going? It's all right. How are you? Good. Excellent. Good now, um, you're in Boston. You've been there for a couple of years, I believe. Yeah. And is the is the is the pandemic stopping you working, or oh, you you work oh, at yeah. home anyway? Everything's shut down. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's painful. Pain. Street performance. Sorry? I've been doing oh, have street you? Oh, that's yeah. nice. Oh yeah. Is it warm enough in Boston to do street performing? Um. Once in a week, <laughs> yeah, we that, got that, one sunny day, and that was it. That yeah, oh, tell me about it. I, I, one sunny day is better than the no sunny days, I suppose. Oh yeah, I guess it's still better than London. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Right, we're going to do the caption competition. Are you ready for that? And then we're going to see your set. Cool. So I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring everybody else in. You can say hello to right. uh, Bex. Hello, Bex. We had Mark. Hey. Uh, oh. We've got Av. And then we're going to go to Cat. Pussycat. Uh, it's very good. And then I need to do this. I need to do a share the screen thing. Find the window. Press oh. that. Do that. You should all go up the side. Hey. Oh. And our first caption comp for the caption competition is... This one. Now, yes, you can look at these on the on the website. If anyone's got anything, shout it out. Uh, I got uh, the invitation specifically said unicorn fancy dress, not uniform. Oh, oh. that's a very good one. Is it? Is it? Is it we spot the clowns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Anybody else wants to you know, just chuck in anything that uh, you see? Three security guards discover two clowns. <laughs> <laughs> see, I told them all to laugh, though, earlier, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any, anything I say, just laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
I've missed the memo. <laughs> Boris Johnson boasts of 20,000 new police becomes a reala reality as first three <laughs> unveiled in local park. That was, <laughs> laugh. Right, okay. That was good. That was anyway, good. <laughs> thank you. I don't know if I trust you now. <laughs> I think she's watching another show. Right, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next one, unless anybody wants to jump in on, on this one. Nope. Okay. This is... If you see something funny, say it. Here we go. The tricky one, this one. It was. Um, okay, so uh, I've got... Uh, folks, enough of this guy. Can't even be asked to fetch the ball. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> 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 He's like uh, a, a remote. Is, is, oh, is, is, is this what? Uh, is this what dogging looked like in 2020? Uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, Jack Whitehall's dad, unimpressed with son replacement. Hey. hey. Yeah. I, I, was, good. I was thinking of, of of that, and the only one I came up What's with was Don Estelle. No, just the, I thought he looked like so. I thought who's going to know who Don Estelle is? So yes, yeah, so I was going to say Don Estelle's edible newspaper attracts unwanted visitors. Was I? But nobody knows who. Don, who thanks, very good. Uh, Donny Osmond remakes video for Puppy Love. <laughs> well, I don't know if that was a good one or a bad one. Av, anything else? Uh no, it's a tough one. That was. I can't think of anything else. Indeed, it's a tough one. Anybody? We're going to move on to the. Oh, I was, no, I was going to say last one. We've got a surprise one as well. Here we go. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, this is a happened. HS2 420 from Houston to Birmingham. Unfortunately, we ran out of money to make the fucking track. Please jump <laughs> off and make your own fucking way. <laughs> Mind the <Yes>. gap. <laughs> At Quir, Tra I Sorry. Go on, Bex. No, go on. At Quir vehicle, aka the water of sea life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Train, train seals. <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, so underground. Oh, Me and you, Bex. This is cool. Go on. Um, okay. Um, Damien Hurst goes too far in new public art piece. <laughs> oh. that's, 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 that's my favourite. I'm not even going to say mine now. No, say it. No. Uh, uh, say it, Steve. Okay. Underground train driver denies tailgating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, oh, okay thank you all very much hey thank you so much everybody i can get rid of this now can't i and then you should all be here there you are hello pussy i love your laugh hello everyone <laughs> get ready for my holy oh. fan photo um, oh fuck um, oh <laughs> ah, fabulous Oh, I, I'm going to do that then as well because Whoa. it's. Uh, I, uh, uh, oh. Oh. Oh no! I did. I had another. I had an. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I had a special one. I forgot oh. about it. Oh man! I, I was getting so excited. Oh, my God. Yeah, I for, I forgot about my special one, especially for. <laughs> 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 Unzip my banana. <laughs> oh, no. That's 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 catch cook. I was gonna go for cocky. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I decided against it. <laughs> that's an egg salad, isn't it, um, cat? <laughs> Looks like the tip of the iceberg to me. Whatever you fancy. But I know Beck is definitely hungry. I was going to say, there's definitely too much lettuce in there. 
<laughs> so obviously but, you prefer Jewish guys. <laughs> <laughs> when you said there was two, didn't didn't Mark say that was the tip of the iceberg? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Um, <laughs> no, well, how about, how, how about um, milk, milk, lemonade, run the corner, solid cream? <laughs> 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 That's no, I like. I, we used to do that at school. That oh, I know it's silly. But no, but it's clever though because you put salad cream, and I'm going to go and blush now because I'm going to stop. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> excellent. Oh that's God, that's... It's a hot Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot Friday night in the hen house. That is yes! very good. If, if, does that, that's a very funny picture there we go well that's who we've got next week we've got Joe Wicks we've got Kelly Edgar we've got Wade and surprise guest because I, I, I haven't booked anyone yet so if anybody <laughs> wants to come along then and you're watching this then do send me an email if I get rid of that we should all go back thank you so much Kat and your cooking thank you so much Mark thank you so much Bex thank you so much Av we're going to go straight in to Carl. Hey, if you stay there, you could laugh at him as well, I reckon. Yeah. Here we go. Carl Z, everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, I'm Carl. I'm from China. I live in Boston now. You know, after the show, please don't tell me that your cousin teaches English in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him. You know, two different countries. Nobody cares. <laughs> And please don't say hello to me in Chinese as well. Like every time people are like, oh, you speak Chinese? Check this out. Ni hao? Ni hao ma? That's like me coming up to you and go, you speak English? We'll, we'll check this out. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, my name is Carl. <laughs> Get out of my face, you know? <laughs> Stupid. Uh, I'm cheap. Uh, I don't like being cheap, but I am. You know, this is how cheap I am. I I study coupon. You ever done that? Like I study coupon, like Wall Street dealers study financial reports. You know, like I put them together like a portfolio. Okay, I got this coupon. Got some reward points here, and I got some gift cards. There's one dollar left in there. I combine all these. I can save. Four bucks on frozen pizza. Yes. Yeah. Come on, Walmart. <laughs> and I always buy bananas in supermarkets because you ever look at the price of bananas and you think, who's growing bananas? Yeah. It's like slaves, like they're not making any money. Yeah. I love cheap food, but don't you guys hate it when those fast food places, you know, ask you for a dollar for charity? Like I was at Arby's the other time trying to order a two for six, because I only order food with numbers in them. You know, two for five, buy one, get one free. And this lady said to me, do you want to donate a dollar to hungry children? I was like, no, just give them one on my sandwich, you know, just because there is a way better business model for this. You know, the extra change thing, like if your total is 449, they say, do you want to round it up? To five dollars and the rest of it will go to charity sure a whole dollar is just too much to ask if it's less than a dollar i don't even care where the money goes you know they could ask me do you want to donate 45 cents to get the horse off of instagram i'd be like yeah let's do that i asked my white friend how he deal with those questions and he said i just say i'm good and i was like what how ah huh. Huh, no wonder why people conquered a lot of place. With that mindset, you can do anything. Do you know children are starving? I'm good. I don't know what you're talking about. It's none of my business. The other day, um, I was talking to my black friend, and he said that I got a lot of pussy because women are curious about if the stereotype was real. Well, nobody tried to find that out with me. I'm the complete opposite of the stereotype, but no one's curious. Like, I've always hated those Asian comics who talk about they have small dicks. You know, it's like, what are you doing? 
things are already hard enough for us. You know, Joe Coy was talking about he has a small dick. And I was like, talk about the white father where you got it from, okay? And then there was Ken Jeong, who did that nude scene in the movie Hangover. And the Asian community was like, keep that shit to yourself, man. Yeah. But I don't know how much money he made from that movie, but let's say $10 million, which he didn't. If I was him, this is how you can tell I'm a black comic inside. I use was instead of were. If I was him, anyway, I wouldn't do it. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I would totally sell my ass for $10 million, but aggravating the stereotype? No. I don't want to be rich and cock block all my people. Yeah. I'm a hero. And I care for my people. Yeah. I'll start a charity thing one day, you know, that helps Asian guys to get more pussy. You know, just teach them about women. And I'll work with McDonald's after people order their food. I'll be like, do you want to donate 20 cents to pussy for Asian dudes? <laughs> All right, that's my time. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. I... <laughs> I had to take people off because the, there was other yeah. sound bleeding in. But yeah, thank you so much, Carl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, but thank you so much for doing that, thank Carl. Uh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We're going to we'll be finishing now on the 18th of May. So we've only got a few hen houses left. But thank you so much for doing it before. And thank you so much for doing it again. I hope I'll get to see you at some point uh, oh, yeah. in the future. But if it's even if it's just virtually. Uh, but thank you so much, Carl. Let's say goodbye to yeah. Bex Turner, Mark Rivlin, Av Singh, Cat <laughs> Pussycat Bangkok. So God bless you all. Thank you all so much uh, for being part of the Hen House tonight. And thank you all for watching. If you've enjoyed yourselves, tell your friends. Tell them all about it. If you haven't, then just keep your mouth shut. So <laughs> thank you so much. Hey, Everybody, bye. it's good night from us all. Bye bye.